Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. Yesterday I had uploaded a video wherein I had discussed do or die chapters for uh, physics when it comes to KCET 2023. And uh, based on the comment section of that particular video wherein you people had uh, requested for the same kind of videos for both chemistry and mathematics, I just thought of uploading uh, the do or die chapters for both of these uh, subjects as soon as possible. Uh, this video will be uh, based upon the do or die chapters or the most important chapters which I uh, studied during my last 10 to 12 days or I revised during my last 10 days uh, which helped me fetch around 50 marks out of 60 in chemistry when it comes to my KCET 2022 exam guys. Yes guys you heard it right I scored 50 out of 60 in my KCET 2022 exam in chemistry part which helped me a lot in boosting my rank in the same way providing me a seat in my dream college. So that tells you how important uh, chemistry becomes and in the same way it tells you how important it is to refer the high weightage or the most important chapters during this last 10 days. Yes guys, yeah. with all the experience I will be telling you how to tackle these chapters individually also. So watch this video till the end guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet then kindly subscribe to our channel immediately because uh, I have been uploading a lot of videos regarding KCT 2023 exam and in the future also I am planning of uploading a lot of videos which will not only help you in the exam part of it but also after the exam it may be regarding rank versus marks analysis or uh, it may be regarding counseling I'll be coming up with many many videos guys to never miss out on that I would like to suggest you to subscribe immediately and in the same way uh, click on the notifications button and set it to all so that you will be the one who will be notified as soon as I upload any kind of new video guys yeah with that note uh, let's start this video again for an exam like KCET each and every chapter which comes under the syllabus becomes equally important and you need to have a solid understanding of all these chapters in order to excel in the chemistry part of it. But still, you know the fact that most of the questions in KCT come from very less amount of chapters and this was realized by me when I went through the 10 years chapter wise analysis which I have already uh, shared with you through three different videos for physics, chemistry and maths respectively. So from that thing itself, I have picked up these do or die chapters which I thought you people must deal during this last 10 days in order to get a good marks in chemistry. Yeah, when it comes to the do or die chapters of chemistry, first chapter which I uh, think is important is chemical bonding and molecular structure. Yes guys, chemical bonding is an important chapter when it comes to the 11th part or the first PUC part. And in that uh, there are many theories which you have to keep in mind and in the same way there are very parameter uh, there are very there are a lot of parameters which you have to keep in mind and it's quite a theoretical chapter and I hope you guys will keep it in mind and prioritize in your list when it comes to revising chapters in these last 10 days. The second thing is states of matter guys. Yes guys again here there are three uh, big laws which form a foundation to this chapter. It is called Charles law and Boyle's law and uh, things like that. So that things you must keep in mind and in the same way you should know what is uh, surface tension and things like that that which will help you uh, around uh, 40 to 45 minutes is enough to complete this chapter according to me because it is also completely theoretical and some problems are there which you can just sail through. Then comes solutions guys. I am going a little bit fast because I uh, don't want to waste a lot of your time. So solutions is a highly important chapters around 2.5 to 3 questions or around 3 questions come from this solutions part every single year. So when it comes to solutions part you have a Henry's law to start off with and again uh, Rawls law and uh, these things become really important and in the end when it comes to uh, colligative properties. So the four colligative properties are really really important. I know if you understand the concept of all these things then you are almost 90% done and when it comes to the applying you have to go through the 3 to 4 formulas which are there and you can just uh, sail through the questions which come from solutions and questions which come from solutions are quite easy. Trust me guys they are quite easy and you need not take a lot of tension uh, when you think of the solutions part. Again the fourth chapter which comes to my mind when I uh, think of do or die chapters which I dealt in my ten, last 10 days is equilibrium. Yes guys equilibrium is kind of a conceptual chapter wherein questions most probably come from the theoretical part of it. Uh, in my KCT 2022 exam also there were two questions which came uh, from the theoretical part. I just uh, go, went through the basics of equilibrium and what exactly is chemical equilibrium and how is it established and if you understand things like that and if you revise once and if you go through some three to four questions which have appeared in previous year KCT papers then you are all set guys. Yeah, uh, equilibrium is done. 
As soon as you are done with equilibrium, you will have a basic understanding of how equilibrium is established and that will lead you uh, in order to have a smooth journey when it comes to electrochemistry. Again, electrochemistry is an important chapter guys, keep it in mind. Electrochemistry will fetch you around 3 to 4 questions every single year and that is quite a big deal. So electrochemistry, if you have your redox reactions part very strong, then electrochemistry will be a smooth sail for you. And I hope you guys are habituated with uh, re redox reactions until now. So with that uh, understanding and with that as a foundation, you can just uh, go through electrochemistry part of it and you can just uh, solve around 4 to 5 questions. Nernst equation questions become really important there. Uh, and trust me guys, if you know Nernst equation well, you'll be able to get around one question almost fix every year so i would like to suggest you to uh, take uh, that into consideration and again electrolysis part and things like that i, I know you'll take care guys there uh, again reference electrode also becomes really important just go through it since it is a theoretical part and solve a few questions which will give you a lot of confidence when it comes to electrochemistry then uh, chapters like chemical kinetics and surface chemistry yes guys these are this comes under the these chapters come under the 12th portion wherein people neglect these two chapters a lot. I have seen many people neglect these chapters and even I was a victim of it. So listen to me, this chemical kinetics and surface chemistry becomes really important. Even if these chapters may seem small, may seem unimportant, they carry a lot of weightage which is which makes them a must deal. Because when there are chapters which are easy to deal and are fetching you a lot of marks, then I don't need to tell you the importance of dealing them in these 10 days. So try to revise both of those chapters in these 10 days. Uh, if possible, just keep them while you are revising a tough chapter like solutions or electrochemistry. Along with that, this may be kind of a breather for you. And again, since you have studied uh, these chapters for your 12th board examinations, these chapters may not feel that much difficult for you. So you can just revise it off in around uh, half an hour to one hour. Now. Now comes the most important part guys, now we are done with the physical chemistry part of it and now we are entering the inorganic part. Inorganic part is a headache for you guys, I know it, most of you guys who are watching this video may feel inorganic as a headache but it is important to understand the fact that it is normal to feel it. Yes guys, even I am uh, uh, kind of against this inorganic part wherein I feel uh, cramming up things as quite boring thing and I even I was a bit weak in this inorganic part because there are a lot of things wherein you have to remember without any logic behind it. So that is where uh, you stand out of the crowd. You have to adopt different study methods which will help you understand these things which are there in the inorganic part and in the same way remember the same things and apply that in the KCET 2023 exam. That is where I kind of faltered but I developed some uh, methods like developing flashcards for each and every when it comes to S block elements or P block elements creating a flashcard for each block and understanding their properties understanding how the trend is going on so these things will definitely help you and it has helped me too so with that experience only I am telling you so try to develop, uh, uh, develop or uh, write flashcards and things like that or things which work for you which will help you uh, do the justice to this inorganic part Inorganic part consists of this P block elements, D and F block elements, S block elements and the same way coordination compounds. Coordination compounds is quite a good chapter guys. When it comes to inorganic that chapter stands out because there are things which you can feel. There are things which you can uh, relate with intuition in coordination compounds which I uh, don't uh, feel often in inorganic part of your chemistry so that is why I like coordination compounds chapter. Even you guys will feel it interesting if you just try to uh, understand the concepts there and in the same way apply that by solving some 4 to 5 uh, previous year questions. Yes guys, coordination compounds is done and with that thing your important chapters when it comes to the inorganic part is also done. Then comes the big daddy of all the domains when it comes to chemistry guys. Yes guys, organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is quite a big deal because it holds a lot of weightage when it comes to these three uh, domains and uh, even some people who are watching this video may have an allergy kind of thing towards this organic chemistry. Trust me guys, organic chemistry questions will be easier. Yes guys, you heard it right. If you know the concept of certain parameters which the compounds obey, certain properties of uh, certain compounds, then you'll definitely be able to solve the questions. Try not to cram up things now. Try to just understand the parameters and 
uh, one thing which I would like to suggest you is uh, to un try to learn our organic chemistry through questions rather than learning concepts and then applying questions. So this is what has worked for me and I feel that it may work for a lot of people who are watching this video. So just try to understand organic chemistry to, through the questions. Try to solve as many questions as you can wherein you will get a deeper understanding of the concepts through questions. So this is a retro approach. Generally what we suggest people is uh, first to learn concepts and then go to the problems. But in organic chemistry, the thing which I which has worked for me personally is going in a retro way, going in a backward fashion wherein I just start to solve some problems. Even you may uh, be in a position wherein you won't be able to solve problems, it's completely fine. Try to watch the solution, try to see the solution and try to understand from the solution. There you will get an understanding of how examiner is trying to ask questions and in the same way you can just build your confidence by solving a lot of lot of questions guys. Yeah, uh, uh, that thing is a way wherein you can tackle organic chemistry easily. When it comes to the organic part, haloalkanes and halorins and alcohols, phenols and ethers, aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids and amines. All these chapters comes under the 12th part and again fact which should make you happy is that most of these do or die chapters are from the 12th part. Yes guys you heard it right most of the do or die chapters which I just narrated in this video comes under the second PUC portion or the uh, 12th portion which should make you happy because you have dealt it at least uh, once for the board examinations which you gave earlier. So that is what should make you happy and in the same way there are some chapters from 11th which you have to give importance in these 10 days which will fetch you a lot of marks and in the same way put you into a great position for uh, the counselling process. Yes guys this was it these are the uh, do or die chapters for chemistry which I uh, referred which has worked out for me to get a, a score of 50 out of 60 marks in my KCT 2022. Yeah. Uh, with all my uh, learnings, with all the experience, I just uh, thought of making this video so that it will help you a lot in prioritizing chemistry chapters in these last 10 days. I hope you will inculcate the same thing in your routine which will definitely help you increase your marks at least by around 10 to 15 which wouldn't have been possible if you wouldn't have prioritized these chapters. And again in the end of this video, I would like to tell you one thing guys. Work hard, put your 110% effort even if your KCET 2023 exam didn't go well, I wholeheartedly want your KCET 2023 exam to go very well but still even in 1% chance, even if your KCET 2023 didn't go well or didn't go well as per your expectations, you will definitely be proud of the work you have put in. You will definitely be proud of the efforts which you have put in in these last 10 to 12 days. That will take the pain of regret out of the picture which is the biggest pain in the world according to me. So I don't want you guys who are in my community to feel that pain of regret. So give your 110% effort. There are around a hardly 9 to 10 days which require your effort. After KCT exam, nobody will tell you to study. Even I won't be telling you to study. I'll be coming up with a different kind of videos. So now is the time to work very very hard and in the same way smart manner that will lead you into your dream college. Uh, with that note, uh, this is Darshan Esploda signing off guys. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. In the same way, if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions, then feel free to put it in the comment section so that I'll be able to uh, see to it and I'll be able to come up with uh, the particular videos which you need. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.